without experience of water, the thirst will never be satisfied. Without experience of total knowledge, without experience of the unified field in modern terms, without the experience of transcendental field, parati chetna bhavati dhyad, without the experience of that, life will remain what? Distorted, that's all, Uns- unsatisfactory, distorted. And in dissatisfaction, the man will do all the wrong that, that he can do only. A drowsy man can do anything, no? A drowsy man. <laughs> that is why the, the society lets a man sleep properly. After sleep only, one begins to talk to him. One doesn't talk to him when he's sleeping. Because whatever he'll say, we say he is he's talking in dream. In dream also people talk, but they are not real in, in any sense in the waking state. So this gives us different states of consciousness. So waking, dreaming, sleeping, transcendental consciousness is also a state of consciousness as sleeping, dreaming, waking is. Furthermore, cosmic consciousness is a different quality of consciousness. Furthermore, God consciousness is a different quality of consciousness. Furthermore, unity consciousness, Brahman consciousness, totality, is a different state of consciousness. This is very necessary for every teaching institution. And this is very necessary for the, for the parents to see that they send their children to that teaching institution where they will be led on to develop all the seven states of consciousness. Otherwise, Education is only educating them to be slaves. I give you so much money, you do so much thing. I give you so much money, you do so much thing. And if education is only employment oriented, it is crucifying life simply. If education is only <laughs> an employment, it depends upon the government what the government wants the country to be, how much in bliss or how much in chaos, that's all. But every government is told week after week that there is a chance for them to be kind on their population and give the bliss of life to every individual. If they don't do it, they will be charged for doing injustice to the people. Teachers, educators, they can help their government, they can help their people, they can help the world thereby. The knowledge is there, use it. And use it or not is your thing. It's all there for you. It's for you to decide whether you want your children to be fully enlightened 